Hi everyone and welcome to my Year 4 National Curriculum Maths channel. Today we are going to be counting negative numbers. Don't forget to subscribe and like. If you subscribe to the channel and like the videos, it will help me grow the channel and I'll be able to create more videos for you. So today we're learning about numbers that are less than zero. These are called negative numbers and you'll notice they have a minus sign in front. Negative numbers are used in lots of situations and they help us show when something drops below zero. So we're used to counting forwards and we know when we count forwards the numbers get bigger. So just as an example, zero, one, two, three. Three is bigger than two, two is bigger than one and one is bigger than zero. We can also count backwards, and when we count backwards, the numbers get smaller. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Now, what happens when we go below zero? So, when we go below zero, we use negative numbers. The minus sign shows us that the number is a negative number. So, even though you might think minus 4 looks bigger than minus 3, it's actually a smaller number. Here we have a number line to demonstrate our point. So we have the negative numbers, we have zero in the middle. So if we're counting backwards from zero to minus one, minus two, minus three, these numbers are getting smaller. So we're going to try some questions now and we'll work out the answers together. What is the missing number? And we have the number line to help us here. So we have minus 11, minus 10, minus 9, minus 8. And if we look at the number line, what is the number between minus 8 and minus 6? The number is minus 7. And remember, it must have a minus in front of it, otherwise it's not a negative number. What is the missing number? Minus 15? minus 14, minus 13, our missing number, and then minus 11. If you need a couple of minutes to think, pause the video. The answer is minus 12. Remember, it's got to have the minus sign, otherwise it's not a negative number. What is the missing number? So we're counting forwards in this video, but we're skip counting. So minus five, minus three, minus one. So we're skip counting by two. So after minus one, we have our mystery number and then we're in the positive numbers, three and five. Our missing number is number one. So it's minus three, uh, sorry, minus five, minus three, minus one. If we weren't skip counting by two, after minus one, it will be zero and then one. So the missing number is number one. What is the missing number? We've got minus 20, minus 18, minus 16, our mystery number, minus 12, and then minus 10. So you can see here that we are skip counting by two again. The missing number is number minus 14. It's got to have the minus sign. If it doesn't have the minus sign, it's not a negative number. Can you remember what I said at the start of the video about negative numbers? So here we need to select the lowest number. The lowest number would be minus nine. Because the further away that we get from zero, the smaller the number. So the answer is minus nine. Some slightly longer questions now. Game score. In a game, you lose five points, then you lose four more. What's your score if you started at zero? So we can use the number line to help us. We'll start at zero. So we lose five points, so we need to count backwards from zero. 
So we'll go from zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. And then we lose four more points, so we need to count back four more. So we go minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine. So our score, if we started at zero and we lose five points and then another four points, would be minus nine. Final question now, and this is about temperature. So yesterday it was three degrees Celsius and overnight the temperature dropped by seven degrees. What is the temperature now? So for this question, we need to count backwards. So we know it started at three degrees Celsius and we need to count back seven. So we'll be counting through zero. So we'll start off at positive three to two to one to zero, and then we're going to start counting into our negatives. Minus one, minus two, minus three, and counting back by seven, we end up on minus four. Super freezing cold. But that's it guys, we've now learned how to count our negative numbers forwards and backwards. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be able to make more videos for you. Bye for now.